you're going to talk about uh, um, hypocrisy or just plain lying. The, dem the left want, the left <laughs> press wants to know that now. Ooh. Okay. And this is old Kim. And this is not a spring chick. And today we're going to be talking about uh, hypocrisy or just plain lying. Now, what would you be talking about? Does um, that happen with a lot of things? Oh yeah. But this time, the president of the United States has been caught in either one great big uh, Hippocratic thing, basically Hippocratic thing, which is basically he said that you know he's wanting to get rid of all you know like a pump action shotguns and. And he doesn't believe in guns, but he does, you know, he thinks it's all right for other people. I've never really used one, so I wouldn't know. And then they find out, according to the president, that he's been, for, since he became president, he's been doing skeet shooting on the property with all these foreign dignitaries. And um, so that's, that's hip, that's, they call that hypocrisy. Or the picture that they have of him shooting his gun, which looks like it was shot yesterday, mm. not in uh, August, like they're saying, so, would make him a liar. Well, so here's part of it is, is he just plain out lying? Is he being forgetful because he's not on teleprompter? Is it a sequence of events? Because some days, okay, say it's Monday and you say, you say, you make the statement. I don't, um, gun, whatever. It's like, yeah. I've never, I've never picked up a gun. Yeah, okay? okay. So that could be true on Monday. On Tuesday, you said, what? Guns are what? No, I've, I've never used a pump I've, action thing. I've never used a. I've never used a. I've never. I've not ever. I've never used a gun. He said before the campaign. Right. And which, now which he's maybe saying that he's before a, the campaign. He never used a gun. No. Maybe he he's saying that he has been using them since he became president. Ah. And see where the where the lie where they say if it's if it's either hypocritical and he's been using guns. Or it's a lie, and since they think the picture was shot this week, they think it's a massive lie. Because, uh, okay, at no time has any member of any of anyone's di foreign dignitary staff mentioned that they've went skeet shooting with the president. At no time has any member of the Secret Service who really doesn't like him mentioned the fact that he's used his skeet gun. No time has any of his staff mm -hmm. mentioned that he's used Basically, that's all. But stuff. now there's a picture. So well, is the picture doctored? Or no, he... it's a picture of him with uh, exactly as he looked yes uh, as he looked this week. Ah, you know, not as he looked before. Remember, uh, way back before he got the nomination, his, he was dyeing his hair black. I did notice that the inauguration team looked a little more peppery. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> now he's dark. He's now or he, salt and pepper. He's got that look on him now. So they basically can. What well, the Republicans say he's just a he's just a lying hypocrite, which means he's a typical Democrat. I love that. <laughs> he's a lying hypocrite, which means he's a typical Democrat. But the um, the press is unhappy. The, his gun control people are unhappy. Well, it's kind of uh, hard to fight for gun control when you take pictures of you with guns. Yeah, and saying and then it's hard to it's hard to unless who would say, oh, I have a change of opinion. Oh yeah, but he's he sent Biden out this week to go after pump action guns. Uh, and, um, and they've got that picture of him with it. They got a picture of it, and he's backed off of that now. Well, I think that people should be allowed because I actually I do do it, and I've been doing it for almost five years now. And wait, wait, almost five years? Almost five years. Ah. Yeah. But is it, is that like me? People ask me. They says, "Do you drink coffee?" And I would say, "No." And they said, "Well, don't you have Starbucks?" I said, "Yes." And they said, "Well, do you have frappuccinos?" I said, "Yes." But well, I said, "That's a coffee drink." And in my mind, yeah. a coffee drink is like pure coffee, yeah. but a frappuccino it, it just is not like coffee. The, you know what I mean? It, just like the President of the United States does not smoke, but and yet you see him outside his window with a cigar. But he doesn't but, smoke. Yeah, but see a lot of, I know, but see a lot of times people think there's smoke, which covers everything. And some people may think you mean smoking cigarettes. Yeah. And smoking a cigar is not the same as smoking a cigarette. Yeah, but see, but it's still smoking. Here's a good thing about you, you know what nicotine does to a person that smokes. What? It makes you paranoid and it oh, makes you. It does. It, it makes you that all the things that you see about Obama, you know, where he loses his anger, loses his temper real quick. That looks like a person that's basically got nicotine poisoning, folks. Oh, he's smoking really? at the same time he's taking a patch. Well, oh, he's actually, also, it's, that's a too much nicotine. He's system. eating. He's eating nicotine gum like it was candy oh well between patches aren't you only supposed to do one at a time yeah but he's using patches, he's using gum, patches and gum and smoking so it's like is that just like so it's different uh, than everything like just taking it, more caffeine yeah well, like he could be a super nice guy and then all of a sudden just turn on you but mm -hmm. uh when okay he basically he knows um, like they said this morning they're not going to get the gun control thing through because the, the democrats 
naturally, as we were talking about last week, which you said is going to continue forever, the Democrats went too far this week. Mm -hmm. They want to ban everything but single action shotguns, single action revolvers, and single action rifles. Mm -hmm. uh, single action rifle, I mean, uh, that, that's no big deal because a hunter can use a single action rifle. Single action shotgun, yeah, a hunter can use that. There are no single action pistols. Last time they put a single action pistol was back in the uh, days of the Alamo. Because uh, after that, they all became like the Navy coat, the Army coat, which were multiple loads. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was basically you were taking powder and ball and putting six, six balls and things that would fire six times. It's what changed the it's what uh, changed the American West because Indians had single shots and kind of uh, officers, for instance, all had multiple shots. Then they did the same thing with the multiple shot rifle, but um, that uh, but it, it it just. You know, like they said, uh, you got 12 members of the Democratic Party in the Senate are members of the National Rifle Association. And they're not going to ban weapons for hunting. They're not going to ban multiple shot pistols. I mean, uh, they had a shot at better background checks, but they're not going to do much. They've already been ruled out on the mental health thing because the ACLU says it won't fly. And uh, the, the magazines, would, like I said, the magazines would have worked because... Um, I'll guarantee you, if you, you, I can, you give me uh, a, a standard clip, and, and if I can't kill what I'm aiming at with a standard mm -hmm. clip, you got no reason. The yeah. reason why assault weapons have great big magazines because they're not very accurate. Uh, you have to stand up close. It's not like having a sniper rifle. No, it's not like having an ordinary rifle. You can take a, oh. a squirrel gun and stand off 50 yards and hit something. Not with a, Assault weapons are meant to be up close. And then, you know, they said, uh, mm -hmm. and then they've been defeated by little old, little, little old ladies that basically have done, you know, go look at the Dirty Does and other movies when they're taping, our, our, a longest day when they're taping magazines together, so all they got to do is flip the magazine yeah, but over. Yeah, see, here's the thing with assault rifles. They may not be as exact, but because they fire off so much, you don't have to be. Yeah, but you still... You know, but you make a mag mess. I know, so you, you cut the mag... They would have, they would have won the grounds. They, they would have reduced it back to a reasonable mag side because it's, it's meant to be a shooting gun and not a weapon. It's, it's really not a really good weapon. It's, why do you think the Russians sell so many of them? Because the people, Muslims, tend to like to sh make them pretty noises. Boom, 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 boom. Is, it, is that like you, like you like to play drums because they make noises? Yeah, yeah. Or you have a sports car that makes a lot of noise. Yeah. Or it's not quite you the same sports gun. car when it, it makes no noise, know, you know? It's just like, I know, I, I, I play drums, so I know about making noise. Mm -hmm. And my mother used to, we used to take to cut the mufflers off of all of her cars and put sheriff bombs on them. And then when it came time for inspection in California, we'd stuff the muffler full of steel wool. So instead of going, they said, boy, that, that, that stingray purrs. My mother, oh, my mother would say, oh yeah, it's really. And my husband, my, my son, keep it tuned up for me. He said, well, they do a good job. And then we'd go back to the cool down, pull, pull the, the steel wool out, and they'd go, I used to do it with my motorcycle too. In order to get it by the noise ordinances, I stiffed the muffler, stuffed the muffler full of steel wool. And the steel wool will it also will come out on its own. But um, like I said, when the Democrats mm -hmm. on all sides are after the president over his stance, he, he uh, a week. I know, and it's the Democrats, not the Republicans. No, the Republicans are having a field day with the, the you know, like, uh, you know, I guess, but they're loving the thing. His picture is it Memorex or was it live? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they know it's a new picture. This guy's administration couldn't keep a secret. Okay, if they'd have been in charge of the A bomb, the Germans would have had all the information. See, they forgot that his hair color changed. I know they forgot it. They, they okay. The people that are running the Obama campaign are basically not doing a justice to the president of the United States. They're not serving him well. No, they're because not. Because they continue to get caught in one. I mean, like it was the gaff a day when he was running for president. What did they tell you? Is like. Don't tell, actually, if you don't tell a lie, then you never have to remember it. Or, what's the other side of it? Okay, uh, here's a, this goes back from Orson Welles when I was, I actually took classes, Orson Welles was, uh, I guess, lecture. Orson Welles said, we're in a room full of professional liars, and I give you one piece of professional advice, that when you're talking about your resume, never tell a lie you can get caught at, mm -hmm. other than that lie through your teeth. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's just a standard thing. Don't tell a lie you can get caught at. Yep. So, uh, but the president's people lie continually and get caught at it. I mean, they're not good liars. I mean, okay, 
the President of the United States could never play poker against any good poker player because they know what he's, they know he has no poker face and they know that he's going to double down. They know I'm, when he I'm doubled, horrible at poker okay, too. What happens is when he doubles down, you basically throw your cards in mm -hmm. and you don't, co you don't cover it because you know that, uh, um, you know, he's, he's doubling down because he thinks he's got a winning hand. Mm -hmm. He doesn't double down on a losing hand. He makes deals. Mm -hmm. When he thinks he's winning, he'll double down and want twice as much. So right now, he's trying to figure out how to undo Dianne Feinstein and other people's things this week, which is why the shotgun, without him pumping the shotgun. Mm -hmm. Because they want the pumps gone and you can't do ski hunt. You, can't do, uh, you cannot do Olympic shooting with single shot weapons. Can't be done. So you can't do ski shooting. Actually, I can, but I'm weird. You know what you do is you put you. Um, you I can fire and load and fire and load and fire and load. But I'm, I, I grew mm -hmm. up playing with guns. Most people can't. You know what you do is you um, you line all you say so you. He, he can also shoot going like this. I know. I don't have to. So I'm going to take a good preparation. I can shoot over there at the mm -hmm. same thing. I can see my fingers. Boom, boom, boom. Right now. So, but no, but. Um, it is possible, but you've got to be an expert, a real expert, with the with the shotgun in order to take it. I mean, I have, a, I'm honestly, I have a single shot shotgun. So what do you what do you think? Hypocrisy? It's it's both. It's hypocrisy and lying. They said he's a hypocrite. He's a Hippocratic liar, which makes him a Democrat. So. <laughs> yeah. So what's new? <laughs> All right. No, it's just. But his party's getting upset. I know the party. Oh, you know what? They're probably getting upset because it's too obvious. The party and the press, they all know that it's a staged picture. Mm -hmm. Totally know it's staged and there was no, okay. Obama feels he has to go that one step further all the time. He pushes it. That's where you get in trouble. He pushed it too far. He just, it's just like the gun control. <coughs> if they didn't push quite as far, they probably would have gotten They would have got, they would have got, uh, they would have got background checks to an extent and they mm -hmm. would have got magazine lowering. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't going to get rid of the assault weapon because here's the new thing about the assault weapon. You take the handle off the assault weapon, it becomes a regular rifle. Well, actually, the, where they pushed too far was going into the homes, wasn't it? Oh, God. There, yeah. There's people planning to go into people's homes to take weapons out of the Democratic Party. If need, They said, to protect the children of our nation, if we have to send the troops into people's homes and, and some people get hurt, then we have to... We, it's just, as far as the Democrats are concerned, it's justified. Well, and then the challenge with that part is twofold. You can't find anybody in the military. Police department's got to go into a home. They That's happen. the first part. And then the second part is that people get really upset when they feel that they're gonna pe people are going to go into their homes to remove things. Oh, God, you've got Democratic, you've got Afro-American Democratic police chiefs in major cities telling you to go buy guns. That was not what they expected. Although Obama's been really good for the gun trade. Oh, that, or actually retail guns. Was it the the uh, was it the police chief in War in Chicago, Illinois, said that there have never been as many guns sold in our mm -hmm. in Chicago's history, even including the prohibition, since oh, Obama really? became president. They're, 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 they know this guy is a left wing liberal, and um, they well, this is this is major cities. Yeah, major cities are all basically. They, um, what he did, he, he held a thing of, of uh, police chiefs. They were all police chiefs that believe in gun control. But they'll all point out the fact, too, that uh, the, where we have the worst crime rates in the country is where we have the biggest gun control. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, the most deaths are in cities with, with major gun control. Because Why do you think that is? Because the criminals have guns and the other people don't. Ah. I mean, like they, uh, they say... Which is always the case... To not have yeah, it. And here's the thing, too. They say, well, Japan doesn't have a problem with guns. Japan doesn't allow guns and people are killed with guns. Britain doesn't allow guns. Uh, people are killed with guns. Scandinavia doesn't allow guns. People are being killed with guns. See, the part that, you forget, that people forget so many times is the people that are the criminals that would use the guns don't pay attention to the law anyway. Yeah. So and why should they pay attention to the gun law? And if you have a total gun ban and, say, 50 people are killed in a year with a total gun ban... That's 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 a massive amount of people being killed. The, well, you know the, what it does is it means it's a free for all because see, part of it is if only the criminals have guns and nobody else has guns, you don't have to worry about the other people having guns unless they're criminal. Right? That's right, and the criminals all have guns. Mm -hmm. They say, well, they don't use guns for crime in in Japan. Yes, they do. <laughs> Go look Japanese movies, folks. Go look at Chinese movies. I mean, everybody's got guns. I mean, there's so many guns floating around those countries. It's uh, they have a problem with ammunition, mm -hmm. 
But there's lots of guns. I mean, there's guns from World War II. I mean, I, until my home burned, I had guns from World War II in my house. Lots of mm -hmm. them. I had guns that didn't work because my father didn't like the kid playing with machine guns. So he fixed it. He, he basically soldered the um, the nose. I would remove the firing pins. You could run around going, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> but they didn't work. I mean, like, we, had a, we had a German buzzsaw, which is basically the fastest machine gun in the world. Yeah. And my father basically, um, he, he, he removed the barrel on it and then put a piece of pipe in there for the barrel to make it look good and then took the firing pin out. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing with the weapon was that would have, every, you shoot X amount of times and you had to take the barrel out anyway, but no. I mean, my father believed in, uh, he believed that you shouldn't play with guns that could hurt anybody with. So we played with guns that you couldn't hurt people with. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I got older, I actually, I, I had my own guns for doing westerns with. I had, I had a right-handed and a left-handed gun. Mm -hmm. You know, depending upon what I was doing, I'd be right-handed in one film and left-handed in another. I also had my own supply of German weapons that my father brought back from mm -hmm. World War II. So when I come to a movie set or a television thing like combat, I had my own toys. But no, it, um, it, it, it works this way. I, 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 I know Monty's on right camera. But no, if... Um, you shouldn't. You shouldn't use. You shouldn't have a gun in your house that you don't know how to use. If you're not prepared to kill with a gun, then don't have the gun in your home. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna wait. Next week we're gonna see what they're gonna do next week on gun Ooh, control. Ooh, that should be interesting. So until next week, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can always go to www.montybubbles.net on the net, or www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com, which is our actual our news site. And wherever you're watching us, follow us and subscribe to us. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, but most of all, go to our websites, mindbubbles.net and mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And go big or not. <laughs>